Hi everybody, today I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite uh, products for the dog, and this one is a car seat. I travel with my pups a lot, and they are always in the car with me, and I wanna keep them safe, or as safe as I possibly can. And I used to use boxes in the car, like actual crates, um, but they just took up too much room. So I invested in the Pet Gear 360 Pet Carrier and Car Seat, and this has been amazing. It's been a game changer. Um, so I'm just gonna go through the list of descriptions of what it's included and what I love about it. Um, so it has push button entry, which is really great with no zippers. Fully expandable canopy. So the top canopy that uh, clicks close will, can retract all the way. So that's really nice. Um, it has a padded handle, so it's easy to carry and more comfortable to carry. And it attaches to your seatbelt, which is the best part of, of this um, um, carrier. It has metal in the back of it and you slip your seatbelt through it like a car seat and snap it into the seatbelt. So that way it stays nice and secure in the seat. It has mesh ventilation all the way around. So your dog, um, no matter what position they are laying in inside the crate, this also stores flat which is great. So if you need to store it, it does fold flat. So that's extra storage space for you if you need to store it. Okay, I'm gonna take you to the park now and show you how I use it. Okay, you're looking at Molly now in her pet carrier, in her car seat. And all you have to do is press this button here and it pops open and there she is, nice and roomy. To close it, you just snap it closed. This one, I do have to say that she has escaped from it when I used it as a crate. So just be mindful that this is escapable. And this side is Luna's side. And as you can see, she wants to escape already, but she fits nice and neat in this carrier as well. Can you go back in? Can you go back in? And snap it closed. So this is the pet carrier outside of the car and this is the back side of it and you can see that there's two straps here plus these metal support bars. They're not very big so again I don't know how good this is with the actual crash data but it keeps them secure and in one place so I think it'll be okay. It's the kind of, I don't know, the best kind of solution I've found um, to keep them in one place. So pretty much what you do is you just extend your seatbelt all the way and then you slide your seatbelt through all the way and then you clip it into your seatbelt and you snap it in. And then this keeps it nice and secure with the seatbelt running through it. So as you can see, I strapped it in and it's not really going anywhere. 